It's good to see him wrong-footed for once. Actually, fossicking. I think that's a pretty good word for what we're doing in our archives. And we've located yet another great moment. Here, jewellery man John Benjamin got more than he bargained for when one spirited owner in Belfast took him by surprise. All I know about it is my husband bought it to me when I was 15, not that very long ago. <laughs> no, quite. <laughs> Last month. Uh, <laughs> I did not like it for the stop. You know, it's quite interesting. When you see a piece of jewellery at the table, you think to yourself, goodness me, this might be a nice thing to film. But as important can be the personality of the person who owns the item. And I would have just at the time wanted a big hunk of a ring, right? Mm. So when I got that, I said, right, well, if I keep that, I'll just chunk it into rings. What, so rings literally out. chop it up into component parts like make a Swiss out. roll into <laughs> lumps <laughs> and then make something, something like completely that. different out of it? Yeah. And goodness me, she, she really was a very um, florid, colourful sort of person at the table and she was equally so on camera too. She really responded to the camera. She enjoyed the camera. The mounting of it, we'll see, is by colour. I think this is yellow gold and probably platinum. Mm, very good. The strap is called a Brazilian well, pattern Well, would that have strap. been the original strap? Good no. question. No. Good question. I found her vivid, slightly combative, and I was responding in that way to her as well. So the watch was set with rubies and diamonds. Now, the thing about some of the rubies was that they were possibly synthetic. In the 20s and 30s, in all these sort of bits of jewellery and watches, they used to use synthetic stones too. And it was interesting to see her response to that point, that they may not have been genuine stones, they may have been synthetic stones. And the diamonds are real, then? Diamonds are real. The oh, diamonds okay. are pucker. They're 100% correct. Right. I think that if you were selling this today, it would probably achieve, in auction, 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> it's easier to get a proper...